హలో గాయస్ హౌ యూ ఆల్ వెల్కమ్ టు మై ఛానల్ క్వాకింగ్ ఐల్స్ నైన్ పాయింట్ ఓ టుడే ఐ విల్ బీ డిస్కసింగ్ ది కేంబ్రిడ్జ్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ టెస్ట్ టు రీడింగ్ ప్యాసేజ్ త్రీ ఆఫ్ ది అకాడమిక్ రీడింగ్ మాడ్యూల్ యాజ్ యూ కెన్ సీ ది హెడింగ్ సేస్ హ్యావింగ్ అ లా ఆఫ్ ది ఫైండింగ్స్ ఆఫ్ సైకలాజికల్ సైంటిస్ట్ రివీల్ ది ఇంపార్టెన్స్ ఆఫ్ హ్యూమర్ So without wasting any time let's jump to the question first of all we have the multiple choice questions right so let's read one by one 27th one says when referring to laughter in the first paragraph the writer emphasizes on dash okay so he is referring to laughter in the first paragraph so we don't have to look at all the paragraphs we'll directly go to the first one so the writer emphasizes on something what is it let's find out humans start developing a sense of humor as early as 6 years old when babies begin to laugh and smile in response to stimuli laughter is universal across all human cultures and even exists in some form in rats chimps and bonobos like other human emotions and expressions laughter and humor provide psychological scientists with the rich resources for studying human psychology ranging from the development of language to the neuroscience of social perception okay we got an idea what the author is talking about in this paragraph now let's look at the options now its impact on the language no he didn't talk about any impact on the language right next its function in human culture no we are not bothered about the human culture its value to scientific research oh wow i think he spoke something about scientific research research right so let's put this option on hold its universality in animal societies no he didn't speak about any animal societies right so i think c should be the answer its value to scientific research how i'll tell you again Let's read this sentence again. Like other human emotions and expressions, laughter and humor provide psychological scientists with rich resources for studying the human psychology. Okay. So laughter and humor provide scientists resources to study the human psychology. So it adds value to scientific research. So this is humor and laughter is adding value to scientific research. That is the answer. next let's move to 28 now what does the writer suggest about charlie douglas so let's read about charlie douglas where is this guy right i think he is here so let's read this paragraph to get an idea theories focusing on the evolution of laughter point to it as an important adaptation for social communication Take for example the recorded laughter in TV comedy shows back in the 1950s US sound engineer Charlie Douglas hated dealing with the unpredictable laughter of live audience okay so started recording his own laugh tracks these were intended to help people at home feel like they were in a social situation such as a crowded theater Okay Douglas even recorded various types of laughter as well as mixtures of laughter from men women and children in doing so he picked up on a quality of laughter that is now interesting researchers a simple haha communicates a remarkable amount of socially relevant information wow so let's look at the options now he understood the importance of enjoying humor in a group setting Yes I think so let's keep it on hold he spoke something about the group setting and enjoying humor right next he believed that tv viewers at home needed to be told when to laugh no he didn't believe that he wanted his shows to appeal to audience across social spectrum no he didn't talk about that as well he preferred shows where audience are present in the recording studio no he hated he said that he hated live audience so he, he did not prefer show so d cannot be the answer at all okay so let's look at this again let's read this 
सी डगलस हेटेड डीलिंग विथ अनप्रडिक्टेबल लॉफ्टर ऑफ लाइव ऑडियंस सो ऑप्शन डी इज गॉन ओके सो दीज वर इंटेंडेड टू हेल्प पीपल एट होम फील लाइक दे वर इन अ सोशल सिचुएशन सच एज अ क्राउडेड थिएटर नोट दिस वर्ड गाइज सोशल सिचुएशन वॉट डज इट से मीन्स ग्रुप सेटिंग राइट सोशल सिचुएशन सो ही अंडरस्टूड द इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ एंजॉइंग ह्यूमर इन सो ग्रुप सेटिंग सो ट्वेंटी एट शुड बी ए क्लियर नेक्स्ट वॉट मेक्स द सेंटा क्रू स्टडी पर्टिकुलरली सिग्निफिकेंट सो वी आर इंटरेस्टेड अबाउट सेंटा क्रू स्टडी एंड वॉट मेक्स इट सिग्निफिकेंट सो डोंट रीड द ऑप्शन बिफोर इट सेल्फ वील रीड द क्वेश्चन वील गो टू द पैराग्राफ देन वील कम टू द ऑप्शन ओके दिस इज अवर स्ट्रैटी So where is this Santa Cruz study? I can see it here, right? So let's read this paragraph. In one study conducted in 2016, samples of laughter from pairs of English-speaking students were recorded at the University of California, Santa Cruz. A team made up of more than 30 scientists, anthropologists, and biologists then played these recordings to listeners from 24 diverse societies. from indigenous tribes in new guinea to city dwellers in india and europe participants were asked whether they thought the people laughing were friends or strangers on average the results were remarkably consistent worldwide people's guesses were correctly approximately 60% of the time wow so yes let's go to the options now the various different types of laughter that were studied why is it significant no not not because of the laughter that was studied the similar results produced by a wide range of cultures yes this can be the answer because similar results by a wide range of cultures i'll tell you uh, the number of different academic disciplines involved no the many kind of people whose laughter was recorded no so what was the uh, result on average the studies were remarkably consistent people's guesses were correct approximately 64% 60% of the time they were correct so what do you think there were a wide range of cultures here in the study right what does it say there were 24 diverse societies means wide range of cultures but still their guesses were 60% correct so there were similar results what do you mean by that similar results right so similar results produced by a wide range of cultures b should be the right answer it is 29 is b okay guys 381 which of the following happened in san diego study so so san diego is here so we have to read this paragraph researchers have found that different types of laughter serve as codes to complex human social hierarchies a team led by christopher ovis from the university of california san diego found that high status individuals had different laughs from low status individuals and that strangers judgment of an individual's social status were influenced by the dominant or submissive quality of their laughter in their study 48 male students were randomly assigned to groups of four with each group comprised of two low status members and just who had just joined their college fraternity group and two high status members older students who had been active in the fraternity for at least 2 years laughter was recorded as each student took a turn okay at being teased by others involving the use of mildly insulting nicknames analysis revealed that as expected high status individuals produce more dominant laughs and fewer submissive laughs relative to the low status individuals meanwhile low status individuals were more likely to change their laughter based on their position of power that is the newcomers produced more more dominant laughs when they were in the powerful role of teasers dominant laughter was higher in pitch louder and more variable in tone than submissive laughter okay we had a lengthy paragraph there some participants became very upset no 
We did not read anything about that. Participants exchanged roles. Yes, they exchanged roles. They took turns. We read about that. Participants who had not met before became friends. No, nothing is mentioned about that. Some participants were unable to laugh. No, it's not given. So B should be the right answer. I'll show you again. Look at this sentence. Laughter was recorded as each student took a turn at being teased by others. Took a turn means one by one they took the turn and they insulted each other. <coughs> All of them, maybe, at being teased by others. So one individual, one individual was teased by the others. So one by one, they went through the process. So hence, they exchanged their roles. That's the right answer. Next, 31. In the fifth paragraph, what did the results of San Diego study suggest? So let's move to the fifth paragraph. A random group of volunteers then listened to an equal number of dominant and submissive laws from both the high and low status individuals and were asked to estimate the social status of the laughter. In line with predictions, laughters producing dominant laughs were perceived to be significantly higher in status than laughters producing submissive laughs. This was particularly true for low status individuals who were rated as significantly higher in status when displaying a dominant versus submissive law. Obvious and colleagues note. Thus, by strategically displaying more dominant laughter when the context allows, low status individuals may achieve higher status in the eyes of others. However, high status individuals were rated as high status whether they produced their natural dominant law or try to do a submissive one. Wow. So let's move to the options in 31. It is clear whether a dominant law is produced by a high or low status person. No, it's not that much clear. Low status individuals in a position of power will still produce submissive laws. No, they were producing dominant laws. The submissive laws of low and high status individuals are surprisingly similar. No, they are not similar. They are different. High status individuals can always be identified by their way of laughing. Yes, high status then can they can always be identified by their way of laughing. Why? Let's read the last sentence again here. See, however, high status individuals were rated as high status whether they produced their natural dominant laugh or tried to do a submissive one. So they can always be identified, right? Because Whenever they have a dominant law or whenever they have a submission where they are easily able to identify, right? The benefits of humor. Okay, so here we have Phillips, but with a list. So we have to select options from the list and we have to write the appropriate letter. If we write the word, it will be considered as wrong. We need to write only the letters like A, B, C, D. Okay, right. Let's move to the first one then. In one study at Australian National University, randomly chosen groups of participants were shown one of the three videos, each designed to generate a different kind of dash. Okay, let's read the further. So another study conducted by David Chang and Lu Wang of Australian National University was based on the hypothesis that humor might provide a respite from tedious situations in the workplace. So what do we mean by respite? Means a relief. Okay, just a temporary relief. From tedious situation. Tedious means very boring, monotonous or very tiresome situations in the workplace. Okay. This mental break might facilitate the replenishment of mental resources. To test this theory, the researchers recruited 74 business students ostensibly for an experiment on perception. First, the students performed a tedious task in which they had to cross out every instance of the letter E over two pages of text. The students then were randomly assigned to watch a video clip eliciting either humor, contentment or neutral feelings. Hmm. Some watched a clip of the BBC comedy Mr. Bean, others a relaxing scene with dolphins swimming in the ocean and others a factual video about the management profession 
Okay, so what does our uh, question say? So randomly chosen participants were shown one of the three videos each designed to generate a different kind of dash to generate a different kinds of let's read it here students then are randomly assigned to watch a video clip okay eliciting either humor contentment or neutral feelings so either of these feelings so feelings is the word we are looking for natural feelings so uh, is the word feelings given here no so what is the synonym for feelings what do you think yes it is f emotions so we need to write the letter f here okay so f is the right answer because for feelings emotion is the synonym then when all the participants were then given a deliberately frustrating task to do it was found that those who had watched the dash video persisted with the task for longer and tried harder to accomplish the task than either of the other two groups okay so this group has watched some video so what is that video what type of video is it that's we have to find out the students then completed a task requiring persistence in which they were asked to guess the potential performance of employees based on provided profiles and were told that making 10 correct assessments in a row would lead to a win however the software was programmed such that it was nearly impossible to achieve 10 consecutive correct answers participants were allowed to quit the task at any point students who had watched the mr bean video ended up spending significantly more time working on the task making twice as many predictions as the other two groups wow i think we got our answer right so what is that video students who watched the mr bean video so mr bean video ended up spending significantly more time so students who watched the mr bean video persisted for task longer tried harder to accomplish the task than either of the other groups so what is it given here so mr bean video is quite entertaining right it is quite entertaining uh, and amusing so the nearest word is amusing h so h should be our answer so h is our answer guys okay because the mr bean's video is a comedy video right it is quite entertaining so the nearest word for entertaining should be amusing h clear then next one a second study in which participants were asked to perform a particularly task task produced similar results so what type of task was that to produce a similar results let's find out those are the keywords so cheng and wang then replicated these results in a second study during which they had participants complete long multiplication questions by hand again participants who watched the humorous video spent significantly more time working on the tedious task and completed more questions correctly than did the students in either of the other group okay so what is the task we are looking for tedious task okay so what is the synonym for tedious now so a second study in which participants were asked to perform a particularly tedious task but is there any word called tedious here no so what is the synonym for tedious as we discussed already it is boring see tedious means very boring monotonous or tiresome job so the answer for 34 should be c okay guys so let's move to the next one according to the researchers david cheng and wang these findings suggest that humor not only reduces dash and helps build social connections but it may also have a dash effect on the mind and body wow so not only reduces is the keyword what does it reduce 
these findings suggest that humor not only reduces that so what does it reduce let's look at that although humor has been found to help relieve stress and facilitate the social relationships so relieve means reduce the stress and facilitate social relationships this it is given in the question itself right see these findings suggest that humor not only reduces stress stress means there is no word called stress so what is the synonym anxiety clearly d so d is the answer okay and helps people social connections there it is given social relationship but it may also have a dash effect on the body and mind so social relationship the traditional view of the task performance implies that individuals should avoid things such as humor that may distract them from the accomplishment of task goals so we suggest that humor is not only enjoyable but more importantly energizing wow energizing means having dash effect on the body and mind okay so answer should be energizing right so what is the synonym for energizing in the given words obviously stimul stimulating it should be so e is our answer okay guys so answer is stimulating you should write e here correct so let's move to the next set of questions now yes we have yes no and not given here okay so we need to write yes no or not given so 37 participants in the santa cruz study were more accurate at identifying the loss of friends than those of strangers wow so we have to move again to the santa cruz study so this is the santa cruz study okay what does it say participants were asked whether they thought the people laughing were friends or strangers on average the studies were remarkably consistent worldwide people's guesses were correct approximately 60% of the time okay guys it is only given that their guesses were right 60% of the time but it is not given that they identified friends more than that of the strangers it is not given anywhere in the paragraph so the answer should be not given right next the researchers in the san diego study were correct in their predictions regarding the behavior of the high status individuals okay let's move to the san diego study now it is here san diego study what does it say let's read from here analysis revealed that as expected high status individuals produce more dominant laughs and fewer submissive laughs relative to the low status individuals yes we got the answer so what does it say as expected what does it mean so scientists expected that this will happen and it in it happened indeed so it is true so as expected high status individual produce more dominant laughs and fewer submissive laughs compared to the low status individuals so they already guessed it right as expected this one word as the answer guys so as expected means yes they expected the right thing so researchers were correct in their predictions of the behavior about the high status individuals yes they were right they were right so answer is yes okay next one the participants in the australian national university study were given a fixed amount of time to complete the task focusing on employees profiles so were they given a fixed amount of time uh, to complete the task focusing on employee profiles let's move to the paragraph here it is about the given profiles right so what does it say however the software was programmed so that it was nearly impossible to achieve 10 consecutive correct answers participants were allowed to quit the task at any time any point wow we got the answer so they were allowed to quit at any point so there was no fixed time right so that sentence has the answer guys here it says participants were given a fixed amount of time no they were not given fixed time they can they can quit any time so it is opposing with the paragraph hence the answer is no 
ओके नेक्स्ट वन चेंग एंड वैंग्स कंक्लूजन वर इन लाइन विद एस्टाब्लिस्ड नोशन रिगार्डिंग टास्क परफॉर्मेंस ओके वर द कंक्लूजन इन लाइन विद एस्टाब्लिस्ड नोशन लेट्स सी conclusions means in the last paragraph he spoke about the conclusion right what does he say the traditional view of task performance implies that individuals should avoid things such as humors that may distract them from the accomplishment of task goals cheng and wang conclude so this is the conclusion they gave so the traditional view means established notions already established notions is this is that in line with their conclusion no because it implies that individuals should avoid things such as humor that may distract them from accomplishment of the task goals so they should avoid the humor that is given by cheng and wang but traditional view is opposite of that so it is not in line it doesn't agree with it so the answer should be no it is opposing with the this statement is opposing with the paragraph so the answer should be no so that's the end of today's video guys please do not forget to like share and subscribe the video please mention in the comment section if you have any doubt it would be extremely helpful for ielts aspirants i am sure that if you can follow my tips and tricks you can score evo 8 bands in the ielts reading module till next time Goodbye have a great day